This is like a mandatory option. Welcome back to the channel and I have a very serious question for all of y'all. Do you guys suffer from your Harley Davidson engine overheating or just simply running too hot? Well, I used to. I used to until I came across this one company called Ultra Cool. And I have two other products on here. And I also have an exclusive discount code that I'm going to share with you all. It is Sturgis23. Sturgis23 is the exclusive discount code that I have for you all. And it expires in August. So if you're interested in these products, that's a discount code that's exclusive to the channel. And just go to the website and purchase these products if you want to. And if not, just give them a call and they're more than happy to talk to you. So, okay. So what are the two products that I have? I have their oil cooler that I have tucked away under my lower fairing kit right here. And I'm showing y'all pictures about that. If not, just go to their website. But I'm also going to talk to you about their oil filter. That oil filter, guys, you just buy it once and just reuse it. You clean it with brake fluid and it really filters your engine out. Now, with that being said, I'm about to change the oil on here. And I'm not going to show you that because all of you guys know how to use change the oil. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take that oil. When I take that oil filter off, I'm going to show you the before and the during cleaning the brake with the brake fluid. And then afterwards, you're going to see how much of the oil contaminates it takes. This is the actual oil filter, right? I took it off from the from the casing, I guess, of the oil filter housing, if you will. But these here filter each pore filters out 35 microns each pore. And you just saw I sprayed it down with some brake cleaner. Now it's an absolute test, right? So what it means is, as I mentioned, that each one of these little pores filters. 35 microns compared to the regular oil filters they filter out 10 microns but that's as a whole unit not each pore so it filters out a lot you noticed that there was some black stuff on here this is actually a magnet so that black stuff i took off was just engine wear and it wasn't much but i showed you all so it's also catching it here you know what i'm saying and that's very very important so this is the same technology that nascar formula one uses and also in the aerospace industry, right? But I mean, it was really easy to clean. I really like it. And a little fun fact, the Harley-Davidson Bagger Racing League team purchased recently some of these oil filters to start using and or testing and then using in their Harley-Davidson performance baggers. This is the housing, if you will. I cleaned it up and um, it's good to go. You just clean it up. You have the, the oil ring here and that's it. You just get their spring, you put it like this. And you just get there the filter and what you do it has like a groove so you just press it in and turn to the right and it locks in place and that's it everybody okay so we came over here to the racetrack and at the racetrack here it marks 96 degrees but with the heat index because of the humidity down here right now it's like 10 degrees more so it's like 106 degrees so 
here is the turbo boosted road glide but anyhow the other product i wanted to talk to you about and i've made a video on it but i'm going to make it on, on this as well is this ride down here this is the ultra cool oil cooler that i was talking to you i hope it comes out in the video but it's all installed how it works out is there's the oil filter and i hope you can see it here that i um um that i already worked on that i showed you all with the uh, 35 micron filtering for each pour but what how it installs is you have a bracket this is just very uh relaxed way of uh, that i'm explaining here you have a bracket you install it where the oil filter goes and then that's where the hoses come in and out the oil goes back in there and that's where the oil filter is at but anyhow this fan right here guys let me tell you this fan right here these each one of these is i want to say 210 or 230 CFM each, which means is that uh, whenever the head temperature or the oil temperature, as I should say, reaches 210 degrees, these both turn on. Now, the difference between this and the Harley Davidson oil cooler that I have down here with the fan is that I've noticed that it only turns on the oil cooler from Harley Davidson with the fan. It only turns on when the motorcycle stopped, right? Well, when you're, you know, hauling bud, hauling ass, having fun on the road, uh, your oil temperature tends to get hotter when your engine's in higher RPMs, obviously. So this one here turns on when your oil temperature gets to 210 degrees automatically, whether you're stopped or on the road, right? Now, another option that I'm probably going to do here is I, it comes with a jumper, and I'm going to install it uh, right down here. But uh, oh, here's the, the option right here for the jumper. Hope I hope you can see it right there. But the jumper goes in there, and what that does is as soon as you ignite or turn the ignition on the motorcycle uh this this uh these two fans are going to just start start blowing air there now i am going to do that because of this hot temperature so even in the south or if you're just really hot day or hot months i would recommend you do that doing that because i mean why let your oil temperature get to 210 degrees when you really don't need to you know what i'm saying so i'm going to start doing that here probably when i get back home and uh and then i'll just take it off when it's cooler right uh, but that's a personal choice but the option is there for you now it also comes with a little uh cable for a light switch you can put wherever you want and it turns on it's a blue color whenever your oil temperature gets to 210 degrees but i just opted to turn it off or i, I didn't install it so um so i don't have that here but if i want to i can i have it back at the house so anyhow so this right here cools your engine oil by 50 degrees right off the bat and then that cools your engine oil by 10 degrees so the two of them combine uh cool your engine off by a total of 60 degrees i'm gonna wrap up this video here again this is like a mandatory option in my opinion you know besides it looks pretty cool like look it's like tucked in there i don't know if you can see it right um it's like a mandatory option in my opinion because these engines get hot in my case i have a 131 right off the bat and then on top of the 131 i got this awesome trash turbo assassin turbo kit right and again um Trans performance built my whole engine split cases and everything so it's a boosted application uh built engine but anyhow my point in saying all that is you know when you're running to sturgis or daytona or anywhere where it gets hot or four corners rally or wherever and it gets really really hot um you want your engine to stay cool the 10 percent discount code again is sturgis 23 sturgis 23 is the limited exclusive discount code for 10 percent off for anybody that wants to get these products in my case it's a it's a mandatory option so until the next time i'm just gonna turn this bad boy on for y'all one more time and i'm gonna go home because brother brothers and sisters it is hot up in this uh place look at that mm.